Okay, so in this quick video, um, I'm going to do fifth declension this time. I know it looks like I'm on the bottom of the page, but um, I started a new video and had half a page. So I thought, why waste the paper, right? We can talk about the bottom of the page. So in the last video, I reviewed first, second, and third declension endings. Quick review followed by fourth declension. This is fifth declension. If you want the review, go back to that fourth declension video. Fifth declension, there aren't many words in the fifth declension. Um, there may have been more that we've lost. I, I, I don't know. But there's um, a couple words that we use a lot. Um, one word in particular we talk about pretty on, early on in Latin because it's part of the term race publica, which means the thing. Well, what thing? The public thing. So imagine you live at a time where you're, you're trying to think about new concepts, new terms, new ways of thinking, so much so that you don't have a word for it. You know, we went through this with Bluetooth, for example. Um, all of these technology terms had to be created. Wi-Fi. Um, the Romans had a similarly um, exciting time for new words, new concepts. Cicero, in particular, created a lot of this. Um, we use the word race to be this thing that I'm talking about that I don't really know how to talk about yet. It's this thing that I'm talking about. And ironically, I, I understood that for a while in my life. Ironically, though, my research around Sumeria, it turns out they have a word for this too. And it isn't race in Sumerian. It's din, D-I-N, this thing that we're talking about. And we see that din thing uh, po uh, pop up in a lot of weird places. Um, Dingiru, um, the god of ten, the god of the foot that moves, um, Odin, Eden, may be connected to that same term. So, back to race, fifth declension, um, masculine, feminine, uh, not, not neuter, not neuter. Um, let's look at the main noun, which is race, rei. Feminine thing. So we have our singular, plural, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative. Race, re, re, rem, re. Race, rerum. Rabus, race, rabus. So what do we notice? We notice a few things. Well, our nominatives are the same, whether we're talking one or many. Um, we see a similarity of the long I from third to uh, second declension singular. And then here we see third declension dative. Um, you can't see it. But it's up at the top of this page. Blank is E, dative, long I. Rem, re. Rem, again, we have that M in the accusative, like we've had om, um, third declension was M, fourth declension, um, fifth declension, we're back to M. Interesting. So fourth and fifth grew off of second and third in many ways. Now we look at the plural, and we see almost entirely third declension, right? Race, race. Now, one shift. Instead of ibis, we have rabus. I forgot my long mark. So we went from ibis in the third, ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis, to race, rerum, rabus, race, rabus. Um, looking at the genitive plural, we went from arum in the first declension, orum in the second, um in the third, eum if it's uh, an I stem, and then arum 
in the fifth. Oh, and I left out fourth. Ooh. So we, we see this um, development of the same type of ending with different vowels. Um, it would be interesting to study how that syntax shift occurred. Um, the masculine noun they use is dace, diei, diei, diem, da. Same endings. Diace, dierum, diabis, diace, diabis. Same endings. Um, the ending of the genitive and dative singular is short e, long i, instead of long e, long i, when a consonant precedes it. Oh, so ret e here, there's no long mark on that e, but d at e, the e stays with the long mark because there's an i before the e versus the consonant there. Um, I'm much more concerned with your ability to chant this word than know that particular long mark. Where would that long mark affect us? Reading poetry and scanning syllable lines. And we'll talk about that there because it affects us more there. So again, I'm going to chant it one more time and then we're fifth to clenchance, done. Race, re, e, re, e, rem, re. Race, rerum, rabus, race, rabus. Fifth declension.